Good morning guys, I have skate camp today and I have training before I go to skate camp so I need to get all my hair and makeup and everything ready before I go. So I'm just going to have a chat to you guys while I do all that. While I'm getting ready, um, last night on my Instagram I put up like a little question um, box to see if anyone had any questions about skating or me for kind of the end of the vlog and one that did come up quite a lot is like kind of like how do you stay motivated with like getting up early in the morning or with just training in general but I'll answer those questions at like the end but one thing I do have to say about like kind of getting up early in the morning is that something that's kind of like helped me is like going from that like oh like I have to get up at like five o'clock in the morning to go to train in a cold drink or I have to do this, I have to do that. It, you kind of switch that mentality to more of like, okay, I get to get up in the morning. I get to go and do something like I love for a few hours or all day. I get to train with really good coaches. I get to train with my friends. I get to have a new day, a brand new day full of new experiences and set new goals. Sometimes it's just that little bit of switch of mentality can make a huge difference. And that has like a follow on effect for the rest of the day because as straight away in the morning you're being positive. You're not being like draining yourself and having that negative energy because you're like don't want to, don't want to, don't want to. You're okay, switching it and you're like okay I get to do this, I get to do this, I get to do this. Okay, I need to go do my eyebrows but I'm going to do that off camera because I need the mirror for that. <laughs> okay, eyebrows are on. All I need to do is put my setting spray on after that. Um, but I'm waiting for like the gel on my eyebrows to set first and then setting spray. So yeah, with my hair, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing because normally for competitions, look at the mess of that. Normally for competitions, I would like do like my French kind of like braids, but my new program is Pirates of the Caribbean and I'm not entirely sure if like braids kind of go with the theme of that or not. Um, so the last time I competed with it, I literally just had it kind of like in a low ponytail. But then because I've got all these little short bits, they just have a mind of their own and they're just flying about the place. So I kind of parted it and stuff off camera, but I actually don't think it's even straight. But that <laughs> doesn't matter. Um, I just washed my hair last night as well now. I had to go and put gel in it. Okay, cool. It's these wee bits, look at that. <laughs> Although, benefits of having a girlfriend, she left her curvies here, so I found some. I think that's us. Setting spare, I've opened a setting spare on yet. Laura, have I pressed my eyebrows down? That was <laughs> Oh dear. To early. Oh my god, I need to get changed. I don't even know what I'm wearing today. Okay, I'm gonna get clothes and I'll be back. We actually just got um, these team jackets the other day. As you can see, it's got our logo on it and then the season. And it's also got our team on the sleeve, which is very cool. I have my coffee. <laughs> um, protein yogurt, 20 grams. Make sure, if you're an athlete, if you're doing a lot of work, even if you're not doing a lot of work, get your protein in, because you're gonna notice a difference. That's one thing like, I noticed from going, well, from trying, in the moment I'm still in the process of like recovery of my eating disorder. Um, it's been almost a year now, um, but having enough protein every day when I'm training as much as as much as what I do is something that's helped majorly, majorly, majorly. It's freezing. It's so cold. You'd think I'd be used to the cold because I'm always in a rink, but I'm definitely not. Skate camp time. Uh, um, we can pretend that didn't happen. 
Okay, I'm at the rink now and I'm gonna go in foam roll warm up because my muscles are screaming at me just now. Um, I've had my banana, um, so I've got my protein yogurt and everything that I'm gonna have after skating. I don't have enough hands. Oh, my bag's stuck. Oh. I don't know why I do things in the most complicated way. Right. Keys. Coffee. I need the coffee. And you guys. Okay. Made it. Got my skates, got coffee, all the food. Got my costume. We're good to go. Okay, so skates are on and everything. I'm about to jump on for my session and I will catch up with you guys after I'm done. Okay, so I finished patch now. Um, it was just kind of like a light, easy session, nothing too much because obviously the camp all day. So I'm gonna foam roll. I've got like my balls up and like that. Um, gonna sit and have my coffee and chill out for a little bit and then get to warm up for camp. So I've got like a kind of 15 minute break so I just jumped out to the car to find my phone because I don't know where I put it and I was giving an update on like what I've just done. So after kind of steps this morning, um, skates off, I got my costume on and then did another kind of off-ice warm up which was the clips before and we then had our on-ice simulations for comps and I'm still in the process of like um, the sections building up to the full programme for my long but that was one probably the biggest section I've done so far and two the best section I've done so maxed out spin levels I did follow my step sequence but that was just more of a I like a it was just one of those things that wasn't anything uh, to worry about did my combo my loops my axles so yeah all in all it was really good I'm happy with that I now have to go back inside the ice rink and it's raining so that's good and I've got my costume on so <laughs> That is me finally finished camp. It was so good, it was really good, I enjoyed it, but my feet and my body is killing me now. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to going home and just lying in bed, getting some food. Um, and my girlfriend is coming to mine today, so I'm literally, all I'm gonna do for the rest of the day is just cuddle into her and sleep. <laughs> um, but first, I'm gonna answer some of the Q&A questions that I asked on my Instagram last night, but before we do any of that, I'm gonna to go to Costa and get a coffee because Lent finished today and for Lent I gave up like my vanilla lattes, my white chocolate mochas and my ice French vanilla latte from to uh, Tim Hortons. It's my all time favourite coffee and I gave them all up for Lent so I have been dying to get one so that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go get that, take through the drive through and then I'll go park the car and answer some questions. I've still got another, how many days? I've still got two sessions on Friday to do and PT tomorrow and I've got training Saturday with off ice and yoga 
and then I'm training again on Sunday and then I'm done then I have a day off hiya can I please get a small vanilla latte of course are you having the winter roast the coffee eh uh, no just regular please no problem any other drinks for you no that's all thank you do you want cream on your wee vanilla latte eh uh, yes please I couldn't set my camera up in time. But it's a Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh no! I've just dropped my bank card. I mean, stop the car. Okay, I got my coffee. I've, my bank card's lost. Okay, we're gonna find a parking space anyway. And then we can deal with that after. This makes me so happy. Okay, so we have quite a lot of questions. Um, to go through i'm just gonna pick a few of them and um i'll answer them um and then if you want if i i can't speak if you guys want me to do a separate video on any of that then i can do that okay right first one last question that's been asked is the favorite routine i've done um i love my current one which is parts of the caribbean but i'm gonna have to say that probably like my beauty and the beast um, with my bell dress, my yellow dress, which I obviously everyone on TikTok knows that one, so that's gonna have to be number one. Have I ever tried ice dance? No, but I would I would like to try ice dance. I would like if I was to try ice dance then I think it would be ice dance like kind of pairs that I would like to try. But for the moment I am very happy just doing singles and stuff and um doing my own thing at the moment. Which is quite a good one. Do you ever get nervous before competition and how can I manage my nerves before one? Yes, I do get nervous before a competition. It's completely normal to get nervous before any competition or test or anything like that. That's just your normal human emotions, so don't be worried that if you are feeling that way. Things I kind of do to kind of calm myself down and kind of keep my head a bit more level, um, I take ice baths before I leave the hotel or my house um, to go to the competition. Ice baths are really good for you mentally but also really good physically for your body so see if you're feeling a bit shaky and stuff like that then I'd 100% recommend I kind of like to have like my own wee routine before like I compete I, um, I keep my headphones in just kind of keep myself to myself in my own space one more thing that I think actually would be my biggest thing um, for keeping my nerves down is controlled breathing so you can do like your triangle breathing so you're in for three hold for three and then out for three and it's it can be a kind of more of a slow kind of three but just so you get guys gonna get the idea of it um that one's really good and kind of taking your in for six out for six but letting your chest move up and down and every time you're doing your breathe out breathe breathe oh my gosh every time you're doing your breath out oh i'm too tired guys every time you're doing your breath out um, the best thing to do is kind of think of clearing your mind so you don't have any distractions or anything like that and you're thinking of like relaxing the muscles around your head relaxing your shoulders kind of go down like you kind of muscles in your head go to your shoulders tummy um legs all the way down to your feet everything just work it bit by bit even your arms down to your fingertips and you'll notice gradually you're you start to become a lot lot calmer okay another one that I actually like talking about and I have spoken about it like a couple of times but I'd like to go more into depth of that. Um, how to keep, keep skating fun, something I'm really struggling to keep at the moment. One thing that if any, not it doesn't need to be young skater or any skater that's starting out, any age, any ability, they'll ask me what is my one bit of advice and my one bit of advice to you guys would be that always do skating or whatever sport you're doing because you you love what you do never lose sight of the reasons why you get up early in the mornings why you maybe can't see your friends at the weekends because you're training all of these things are because you love what you do and you have a passion for your sport i've been in that position before i've been in that position where i no longer found skating fun and it was too like day in day out was a lot of the same 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 for me so something that i feel like when i'm if i feel like i'm in that kind of cycle or I'm not enjoying it, then see to write down like little bullet points of goals. Short term goals, long term goals. See if you want, you write down your goals. So say by the end of this month, I want to have 
a triple loop on one foot. It doesn't need to be completely fully rotated, but I want to be on the one foot. So if I do that and I get to that and I can tick it off and say, okay, yes, I've done that, then reward yourself for it. It's rewarding yourself for all the hard work and everything you're doing and acknowledging how hard you are working because you need to acknowledge that, guys, and you need to give yourself love and appreciation, not just give it to other people. Oh. I'm so tired. I am gonna go home, because by the time I get home, hopefully Alex will not long be behind me. I need to get some lunch because it's two o'clock, I've not had lunch and I'm starving. I will put in the description below um, my Snapchat, my Instagram and my TikTok. So if you don't already follow it, you can go follow it. I post loads and loads of skating content, um, LGBTQ related stuff and lots of stuff from my girlfriend. Um, and a lot of body positivity, mental health. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a good day, have a very blessed day, and I hope you all have a good Easter Sunday because that is this week. So yeah, see you later.